Hello and welcome to Bear Necessities. My name is Bear and today we're going to be talking about Split Paw. I know it's been a little bit. I have been gone because uh, my power supply on my PC actually uh, broke down, but I got everything back together and running. Um, I uh, The company that put together my computer actually sent me a new one, so we are back good to go. I've been on a laptop still playing the last couple weeks, but I couldn't really record videos really well. Um, but one thing that was consistently asked for on my channel was uh, a more in-depth walkthrough guide of how to get into Split Paw. Um, so here we are in uh, Thundering Steps. Um, I am near the Northwest Terra Porter. Uh, you'll see all these Split Paw nulls kind of hanging around outside. Um, I uh, will turn on my poison real quick, but this is a fresh character. I don't really have good gear or anything. I just wanted to show you guys how uh, to get access to Split Paw and eventually um, get access to the gem that you can use to teleport back to Sundered Split Paw whenever you want or the, the Split Paw Den. So first thing you do is you go up to the teleporter, right click use, and you get a Darkened Atcher Shard. Then you get the quest. Um, the reason I backed away from the teleporter or the teleporter is because the next part of the quest actually requires you to kind of like go close to it. Watch, um, I get closer up. See, I get the update. Nice. Uh, now if I right click it, it'll say enter the den. So we've got to do this like little instance. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty quick. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, and this is kind of going to give us access to, uh, just be able to get down to the split paw den or this uh the sundered split paw den so we start here and um if you don't have sneak or invis make sure you stock up on some uh totems i would just get both get um, some jaguar and chameleon uh, if you don't have it um, but here we come into the den uh, accidentally went the wrong way there but you're gonna go the way that's not blocked off uh, pretty much and you're just gonna go straight something to keep in mind um, It's just like a good rule of thumb when you're kind of doing these initial quests always take the right path um, And when I say the right path just the first furthest most right path you could take so uh, In this case, it's just straight, but uh, it's the right path um, so We're in visiting through this entire area. Uh, it's no big deal um, nothing sees invis uh, so pretty easy or nothing sees stealth uh, still hanging the right still hanging to the right um, you'll notice that we're eventually going to see a Tesh Vol Tesh Mall fanatic I believe yeah Tesh Vol fanatic uh, this is who we need to kill um, and this guy is not like super easy but like I said I'm on a fresh level 50 not super great gear um, like I think most of my gear just has ability mod on it, maybe a little potency and just normal stats. So it's really not, I, like I really am not super geared at all. Um, but this is not a problem. Uh, this fight's not too bad. You just got to kill this entire group here. I'm going to use some, use some of my temps, uh, make sure I can get through these guys. It's probably a uh, better idea to kill like the heretics first because they are healers and I killed the the named uh, probably kill want to still kill the named first but then probably kill the heretics next because they are it looks like they're defilers um, but I'm at 14% uh, only one left though so I should be able to kill this guy. Um, yeah, so we're good. So small chest uh, You're gonna get a copper key at this point we can go ahead and invis back up uh, One thing to keep in mind here in Sunder split ball is you can actually move everything while invis um, So you, you can pick up put down boxes detonate barrels you can do all this um, To to rotate stuff you can just use your mouse wheel uh, you, of course, when you pick up stuff, you can move around with it just like with WASD. Um, and then 
Um, you can rotate stuff with your mouse wheel. Any Anytime it's green, that means you can place it. Anytime it's red, you cannot. Uh, one thing to also keep in mind is if you're at varying levels, if you're within range, you can still pick up things. So even though I was above, I almost fell off there. Even though I was above, I was able to grab it from below. Now this will kick you out of uh, stealth, but if you stand right in the middle, it's no big deal. You get this shard, examine it, it, upstate, it updates your quest. Now it says to earn the trust of the gnolls, I should travel to Split Paw Den to aid them with a few of their challenges. So um, at this point, I'm going to go to like one of the southernmost points of uh, Thundering Steps. So I could, um, I do have some teleport things. I could use that, but just to show you guys how to get out of here, we essentially run back the way we can, uh, or the way we came. It's no, uh, it's exactly the same way we came. And uh, so, of course, you're going to go the leftmost path since you went the rightmost path on the way here. So we'll run back the way we came. We can invis, of course, through all of it, just like we did on the way down. And um, the teleporter that you want to click, and I, I think I mess up here, uh, is the one right here. So, or not the one right here. It's the one you came in on. So I try to go this one and get out, and then I'm like, oh yeah, you can't do that one. So you go back to the the one from the entrance. I think I went the wrong way there yet. Remember leftmost path? I uh, <laughs> didn't follow my own advice there. So uh, leftmost path here, you can see it's kind of glowing. That'll give you a, and then you can go straight back to the thundering steps. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do now that we're in the thundering steps is we're gonna go, it, it, oh, it actually puts you out at, um, Thunder Mist Village, which is nice because you're kind of going south anyways. Um, if you can see, you, you know where like the skin dancer knolls are and like stiletto, um, kind of that area. That's that's where the Sundered Split Paul Zone in is. So we're going to run down there and um, I'm going to cut this footage just so that we can run straight down there and then I'll show you how to get to the den. All right. All right. We're getting close to the den now. You can see I'm in the Skin Dancer Knoll area. And uh, if you kind of come up from that backside there, you'll see this door here with the little split paw symbol on the wall or on the door. Now we're going to be in the upper tunnels. So we're going to pretty much follow the same principle I was talking about earlier. Always hug the right. So we're going to sneak first. And I shouldn't have gone left here. It's actually right. <laughs> You want to go the way that's not blocked off. Um, yeah, so we're going right and we're hugging right the entire time. I know there's all this cool stuff over here. Uh, and if you ever want to explore it, go for it. But we're trying to be the most efficient uh, as possible and just get our darkened azure or our glowing shard as fast as possible. So here we go. Um, so these boxes you have to be a little bit careful with uh, because you can only place them twice, I think. And if you place them a third time, they crumble. Uh, but we're going to grab two of these boxes um, because we need a, uh, a barrel to blast through a wall that, that's kind of close to us. Uh, let me uh, jump up here correctly. All right. Now we're going to grab this barrel and... Uh, I make a mistake here. Uh, I end up having to fight these, but place it in the very top right near this, and you won't hit this. Uh, you won't hit this guy. Uh, so I I hit him, but it only did 50% of his health. So I end up getting a bunch of ads here, and I have to kill them. Uh, but again, they don't take that long to kill. Um, so I'll just leave this in to show you. Like even if you mess up here, you can kill these guys. I have essentially three, four, or I have four encounters on me, three and a half encounters, and everything is scaled to your level. So even if you do this at a, a an earlier level, um, it will be similar. Like it'll be like these guys are level 50, so they're my level, and then there's going to be certain things that are blue uh, or one level below me. And so if you're level 30, you know these things will be 30 and 29. Probably be a little bit more difficult. Um, just because I have a full set of level, you know, 40 to 50 gear. So that's helpful. 
All right, so we killed that, and uh, even though we made a mistake there, uh, but that should be the only mistake we'll make because uh, the rest of it's pretty easy. So one thing, again, remember what I said, uh, you can grab things from above you uh, pretty easily just by kind of scrolling out um, and clicking on it. So again, we're hugging all the way to the right. Uh, so not this hole here, but the other right path. Um, so we continue going down this, there's gonna be a wall. See this time I actually put it in the top, kind of the top right area. So this roamer uh, doesn't get hit. Make sure I back up. All right, we blow through the wall. So this is really the last area that we have to get through before we get to the den. Um, so we're still uh, hugging the right again. Um, we're gonna grab this plank of wood that's on the right side and we are going to make a little bridge for ourselves. Uh, then we're gonna come back and grab one of these barrels. Uh, there's also a barrel on the ground here if if you're not, if you maybe you're on a computer with a smaller screen and it's, it's harder for you to grab it so you can just grab that one on the ground or you can grab those up on that little island there. But uh, there's gonna be another wall here on the right and we're gonna blow through it. And then we're also just gonna keep going straight and there, there's gonna be a path on our right over here. And you're gonna see these little bones, spires, whatever you wanna call them, and it says lower tunnels. All right, so this is the split pod den. This is exactly where we wanna be. Um, so in here, um, there's a number of different quests. There's a number of things you can do. If you have a group, you know, you're probably gonna take a, a little bit different route than this to get your shard so you can teleport back. Um, but there's essentially, th you have to finish three different instances or three different quests in order to uh, get this, this uh, essentially earn the trust of the gnolls. So if you talk to this guy, um, he will give you a, a group zone um, to called the crawler's nest. And it's just like a little ring event. Like you have to fight your way through a bunch of spiders and, and get to this ring event. Uh, so you can enter the crawler nest there with your group and, and do that. Uh, that's a really easy one, a really quick one. Um, essentially, it's going to replace what I'm about to get, which is, um, oh, okay, well, this this guy has one called, uh, man, I can't remember the name. Oh, f Fur Fetching for Fraw, but it's not a, um, it doesn't actually earn your, give you any earning of trust. So don't grab that one. That's not a good one to grab. Uh, but if you come down here uh, and talk, to uh or so there's this guy named Sarchel the storyteller down here and every now and then he'll tell this story about Harclave um so it's like a, I guess oh I, now I got the quest so I got really lucky but apparently he was already telling the quest down here and at the end of the quest or at the end of the story if you're down here near these gnolls that are watching um it'll give you that quest and um if you are gonna do the solo, then you won't want to do the Crawler's Nest. You'll want to do the Ark of Harclave. Um, these last two you can pretty much do uh, with a group, or you can do solo. So um, we'll go ahead and get the other quest that you need to do. Uh, for, it's from this guy right here in front of me, named Flitch, and it's called uh, Flitch's Prank. Uh, so you have to destroy some null supplies. You can do this as a group or you can do it solo. Um, I think the instance is the same no matter what. Um, now, the, so, so that's the second thing we're going to do. And then the third thing we're going to do is the arena. So there is a solo arena and then there's also a heroic arena. Um, so the, so the heroic arena is, um, well, so this is actually the path that you want to go to if you're going to do the, the Harclave quest and we'll show it in a second, but uh, the heroic arena is what I just passed there on the left. And the solo arena is kind of in this north section here. Um, and we'll go ahead and do that first. So there's no real quest that goes along with the, the heroic or the solo arena. Um, but doing it is one of the three flag things. Um, or it counts as one of the three flags that you need to earn the trust of the gnolls. Uh, this is really easy. I mean, you're going to see as I go through these that, um, like, it's really no problem at all. It's just as, as fast as you can kill them and as fast as you can talk to the guy and uh, summon the next person. So every time, you can wait as long 
as you want. So you can say, I'd like to continue fighting. But like, say you get down to like 60% HP or 50% HP while you're, you're doing one of these, you can just sit there and wait um, until you get full and then talk to him and, and summon the next one. So as long as you can kill these guys from full HP and power, you are doing good. Um, so I'll use some temps here, but it's pretty easy. It kind of starts with some easier mobs, level 49. Uh, again, it scales to whatever you are. And then we'll eventually get into some harder encounters. Uh, I think the last one is 51. Um, but as you can see, I'm just, you just talk to him in between each one and you say, you know, I'm ready for the next match. So yellow tooth is coming next, which is, uh, a null. As you can see, he's um, he has gained levels. We're not uh, we're not level forty nines anymore. We're going against fifties. I think there's two fifties, and then there's like some fifty ones, or maybe there's three fifties. I don't know, but it's pretty easy. All right, continue fighting. Test your resolve against this. Believe it's. Um, Ooh, a spider. Okay, another spider. So we did a rat, a spider, a knoll, and now we're doing a rock crawler spider. This one's a little scarier looking. This isn't bad on a swash though, because swashes do get a number of stuns, so you're able to kind of get your backstabs off, get some damage in. No big deal. Alright, that one's dead. So that was a level 50, so we had two level 50s. And now we've got a level 51. All right. This guy's not too bad. We're starting everything. I mean, if you have sneak or, you know, sneak attacks or things like that, of course, start every fight with that. Um, but if you're a healer or you're a summoner or anything with like heals, like this is going to be super no problem for you. If you're a lower damage, like scout, like maybe a bard or something, uh, you'll be fine too. But maybe a little bit um a little bit harder but it's still not bad All right now we got a knoll i believe this guy's like a a healer like an inquisitor or something or maybe it's like a berserker i can't remember that's pretty easy though i really love the way that they made the split paw nulls look like they made them look differently from the other nulls and uh i will say for like the last week or so of raiding i've been um raiding as a knoll because uh, you can actually get a, uh, oh, so this is Split Paws ho Hope. I think this may be the group. Oh, no, no, no. This is the, the two nulls together. Oh, it drops it down to level 50, but it's two level 50s. Um, but look at these. Look at them. Like, I love the dark fur. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've been playing as a, as a Split Paw Null while I've been raiding. I really like the illusion. You can get the illusion from doing the heroic version of the arena. Um, every time you do it, I believe two uh, illusion rocks drop that you can use anytime. Doesn't require any sort of reagent or anything. It's just you're good. All right, so killed those two, and got to be getting close. I think maybe there's two more encounters. There's one encounter that comes with like um, three different uh, like grouped up people. Yeah, this is it. So it's like a dwarf. Um, you really should be going for the uh, the tear doll slave first, the hateful tear doll slave. But I think I just go in on the gladiator. Yeah, um, the tear doll slave is the uh, the healer. Uh, so you definitely wanted to go for it first, but it's it's not that big a deal. The gnome is like a caster. I think it's like a an illusionist or something. But it's no big deal. Uh, we'll kill that. Kill the slave. And then, or kill the, kill the healer and then we'll go for the, the caster after that. Pretty easy. Like I said, if I was on like my main doing this, even though my main's a fury, like this stuff would have died really, really far ago. So if you've, if you've been doing like, if you've got your prismatic or you've been doing um, you know, other high level content, you're going to be doing this much faster than me. Okay. So now we got the champion coming out. As you can see, I'm only at 53% health. Um, 
and I still pull it. Doesn't matter that much. You can't see invis as well, so you literally could sneak here for a while and wait for your HP and power to come up, but it's just a level 51 normal mob, so I'm going in. They die pretty easy. It's gonna die pretty easy. Already at 50%. Oh, he's a little he's a healer. I didn't even realize that. Kept him stunned most of the time. So, we're finished at this point, but um you can when you want to leave, just say I want to claim my prize and he actually it's actually a mob. It's just a uh, like a little mimic. So, you got to kill the mimic and then once you do, uh you'll get a chest. So, uh whenever you do this, so like I said, when you do the heroic one, you get the illusion form. You also get a little house item. Uh, this one always drops a minion, yeah, a zygomid sp a sporling, which is just like a little thing. You also get uh, a house item and you get a wrist item, which is pretty good actually, 20 stat. Not terrible. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the arena. So now that we finished the arena, we have two other things to do. We have the Flitch's Prank and Arc of Harclave. So we'll go from straight from here to Harclave and uh, yeah, that'll be our next stop. Alright, so here we are back in the den. We're going to go on to the Trial of Harclave uh, because we have the quest. Make sure you have the quest before you go in there. I don't even know if it'll let you go in if you don't have the quest, but make sure you listen to the story and everything first. Uh, so one thing I mess up here, um, and I'll probably cut this, um, but there is a torch right at the very beginning that I should have picked up, but I did not. Um, also, you can invis around here as well. I think I, I'm going to kill a few mobs here just to make it easier. Um, let me uh, kill this touch mob brute real quick. But you can see there's these little braziers or these little um, pots with some, there, there's like wood in them. We we have to. Um, fire those up but we need the torch in order to do that so um i'm gonna cut the video here real quick after i I'm gonna kill this guy cut the video and then actually show you after i get the torch all right so here we are back at the beginning and uh right when you zone in there's a torch there that you're supposed to grab i did not grab it um but now that I have the torch, I'm going to come back out here. We killed a few mobs along the way, uh, but we're going to go back through it so you'll be able to see all this. Each time you um, light something, it is going to make you come out of invis. So you may have to fight a few, few mobs. We're going to sneak, though, before these get to us. And then we're going to come back because uh, those kind of roam around. So you come in here to the left, and uh, there are... There's some mobs that you're going to have to kill next to these. It's okay though. It's just uh, just some basic solo gnolls. No big deal. I'm going to ignite these braziers. So we've got two out of eight. got to do eight of them. These guys are roaming back down. So I'm going to go ahead and come back out here and uh, kill these guys. Make sure you don't fall. I'm a little close to the edge here. Alright, we've got that one. It's three out of eight. Let's sneak back up. Alright, you gotta kill this guy. Um, those roamers have already kind of passed by. You see them roaming up there on the left side of the screen. So, gotta kill this knoll. Um, but overall, this is no big deal. Easily solo wolf, four out of eight. All right, sneak again. All in all, this this part specifically is going to take you around ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes at the most. Um, so when we come up here, you're going to notice there's two more. There's one right here. So if you have enough like coverage leeway here, you can you can hover your hand over it. You see the little hand. Once it turns filled in like this, you can actually ignite it. So there's a few areas like this that you can actually do it without um, without actually attacking them. So definitely for these two, probably could have done it for the other 
the ones in the last stream as well. Um, but it just saves you a little bit of time. You don't have to kill the, the little solo mobs. All right, so we're at six of eight. Uh, you'll notice over here, there are these little boxes that I had already picked up. I picked up before. Um, I accidentally grabbed the, or I didn't have the torch. Uh, but once you pick, you, you stack up four of them, you'll be able to grab the last two here. And you're going to notice that once you get the last one, eight out of eight, the arc is going to come glowy. Uh, and then you click the arc and it's going to give you this buff. And I'll do an inspect on it in a second. Um, but once you get this buff, you're going to see, uh, see all these, uh, these gnolls out here. Let's watch these gnolls. I'm going to sneak and then also I'm going to get attacked uh, by these ghosts. <laughs> and, uh, you got to kill all these ghost, ghost pack. I think it's five different mobs. Uh, I'll show you the, I'll show you the buff on me in a second. Um, but normally you wouldn't be able to kill these. However, you get this big buff. Um, from clicking on that arc like that. Um, I think it's just called some, I don't know, the something of Harclave, but it does like, it gives you a damage shield, it gives you haste, it gives you um, a chance to proc like 5% of their max health. Um, so there's a, there's a ton of buffs it gives you uh, and it makes it, makes you able to, to clear this stuff pretty easily. It doesn't really matter what class you're playing. You'll be able to clear this stuff out. Uh, so, oh, I tried to get an examine on it there. One second. There, I got one. Okay, so it gives me tar It gives me power and HP every uh, eight seconds. Uh, it reduces the amount of XP I get. Because um, used to, back in the day, this was a place where people would come in solo and get XP. Um, it gives you haste, max power, max health, DPS mod, health regen, power regen, focus, mitigation. 5% uh, chance to inflict 5% max health as well as uh, a damage shield for 0.5% of max health. Uh, you'll also notice, um, I was trying to point this out when I was about to leave, but all of the nulls have turned into skeletons, which is pretty interesting. Um, but you're kind of now just, you know, following the path uh, of the story that was told to you earlier about Harclave. Um, so the next part of the story essentially says he took out the the zygomid spore king um so this is kind of hard to move around but yeah you, you're gonna try to make a little bridge here i'm gonna go back and grab the plank that i used to get over to begin with so you may have to get a little close to the ledge just be careful um this just makes it easier you can probably make the jump just from one but uh, I'm just playing it safe here. So stack it up to extend this bridge a little bit. And then we're going to jump over. Um, and uh, then you will see the Zykamid Sporking. But there's all these groups uh, around him. Uh, so you kind of want to like clear out a spot to pull him. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull this group right here. Uh, you'll notice that I'll have to do this one more time as well for the last boss, um, but uh, for all intents and purposes, we're gonna we're gonna kill these and uh, clear out a little spot here to pull the named. Um, not too hard, as you can see. I'm I'm pretty much wrecking these guys. If you get procs, you wreck it even further, but uh, it's only a five percent chance. So sometimes you get the procs, sometimes you don't. Even if you don't, like, the amount of HP regen and health you have is going to make this pretty easy. So, clear out these Zygamid, uh, this one group. We only, we're only going to have to kill one group here, and we should be able to range pull. They're not social, so you don't have to worry about social aggro in here. Um, you just don't want to get into range of multiple groups, uh, or it can be pretty difficult. Like, you still could probably make it, but... Um, we're just trying to be as efficient as possible. Uh, one thing you'll notice as well, there's that the Spore King is there. He's kind of like um, maintaining or this this big purple mushroom there. So once we kill him, it'll actually turn into a ghost, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we're, we're waiting for a little bit of HP. Um, I don't want to die to this guy. He's a, he's a double up arrow, triple up arrow. Uh, so we'll pull him 86%. Uh, so we pulled him with a range ability. As you can see, like 
there's uh, no fear of, of getting anything social. We're going to cast some temps. And then we're just going to start wailing on him. Yeah, he's already... We've gotten... A, I think we maybe got a proc there. So, we're beating him up pretty hard. Uh, Alright, yeah. So, that's pretty easy. So, now it says, Rashval Gornas has taken Harkleaf's throne. Recover what is rightfully yours. Um, this shouldn't be too hard to find. However, I mess up right here, and I actually go back towards the entrance. Um, what you want to do is... Uh, well, don't go the way that I'm going um, here. That is uh, a dead end. Uh, so I think I end up accidentally going back the way I came. Or maybe going down this hole. I can't remember. But you actually just want to take one of these. Um, yeah, I end up going back the way I came. Uh, you don't want to do this. Uh, because you're going to end up back where you were. You essentially want to take uh, one of the, the right routes. Um... I think I double back here by accident. Um, or I end up, yeah, I end up coming out to the front. I'm like, oh, okay, like I can, I can just jump back and go back. This is not what you want to do. Um, so I'm gonna actually cut here. Uh, well, I'll just, I'll just show, show it. It's not that big a deal. It's gonna take me an extra like two or three minutes. Um, but I end up running back to the arc and realizing my mistake. <laughs> That's not where you want to be. Um, you actually want to, uh, from that room with the spores, you, you actually want to go a little bit different direction. So, uh, actually I'll just show you that I got back to the arc, but I'm going to cut here and then we'll, we'll cut over to back where I'm at. Okay. No, no. I realize it. And I'm like, okay, we're not doing it this way. Go back. So even with the mistake here, like we've been, we've been in here for like 13 minutes. So no big deal. Um, even with a couple mistakes, we're like maybe 30 minutes into this quest line and we're actually getting pretty close to being done. Uh, Cause once we finish Harclave, then we just have one more quest and um, we'll be, we'll, 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 we'll have the trust of the gnolls. So when you come back out here, um, there is this, underground tunnel uh this is actually the way you're supposed to go okay yeah so you go down this under underground tunnel here and you're going to come out and it's going to look similar to uh delving into darkness the first one of the first um i think it's actually the same layout as the first zone that we came into uh so remember where we fought that teshmal fanatic see it's it's the same same layout kind of copy pasted but the guy that we need to kill is actually up there on the throne. See the Rashfall Gornus. Now this is a very dense area um, and there's quite a few roamers. So there's these blighted, um, see there's three groups here. Uh, there's these blighted guys that are roaming around. Um, and there's there's three roamers like that. Uh, so we, we need to kind of clear out a spot where we can actually pull these. I don't recommend doing it on the ones with the three Three groups there. I re recommend like coming back here near this box um, because you can kind of jump up on the wall a little bit to avoid some aggro. And we're gonna pull this group, and then there's a you know we may get a roamer or two, um, which is okay. But we want to clear out these and uh, kind of clear out a little spot for us to pull the name back to. So we uh, we end up getting the roamer here. Uh, so we we pop some of our our cooldowns, make sure we don't die here. But it's no big deal. I think we got this. The Harclave buff really, really does help. So, kill this guy. Finish off the last guy in this group. Then we'll kill the, the Romer that accidentally aggroed us. All right. You can tell these guys have a little bit more hit HP. The Roamer guys. Uh, I accidentally started. I just got the spell to uh, summon the the Sporling, so I accidentally started casting it. All right. So uh, now that we've done this, um, 
I think we can probably just pull one of these groups on these islands here. Um, and then uh, we may pull one of these roamers too, just to, yeah. Let's just pull one of these roamers. I just don't want to accidentally get the roamer when I'm killing the named. Name's not super hard, but uh, just being safe. If you die in here, you know, it's not that big a deal either, but um, we'll have to run back, so. We'll just better be safe than sorry here. We may get another. Yeah, we did. I was gonna say we may get another um, roamer here, but that's okay. I don't mind killing these. Uh, now that we, I think once we kill these though, um, we'll probably kill this just one group of dread snouts uh, with with the uh, the undead null. And then we we have a straight shot to to the boss. So we're only at thirty six percent HP here, but I still think we're fine to go ahead and pull these. We waited for like one tick here. Uh, maybe we should wait for one more. Yeah. Yeah, I really should. I really don't want to fight another one. All right. Yeah. So they're not social, as you can see. And so I just range pulled that. Let's kill this last guy. Then once once you kill this last guy, I would recommend maybe not waiting till full HP, but wait till you get some of your HP back. You don't want to fight this last guy with just like no HP at all. Also, I'm using caustic po poisons on these um, just because I'm cheap and lazy. Uh, you can also get the the poisons that heal you as well. Um, and that'll help some. However, you know, you do have the Harclave buff on you, uh, which gives you a big percentage of HP. So keep that in mind. All right. So we killed this last guy. Now at this point, we're going to kind of just wait until we get some HP back and then we're going to pull the last mob. All right, here we are full mana. Full HP, well, 89% HP. We're just gonna grab one of these guys on the side, hit it with Arctic Art Blast, cause it does slow it. And I just wanna get as much damage as I can on the boss. So I'm gonna drop my temps and uh, just go crazy on this guy. All right. Guy's dead. Let's kill these last two. Pretty easy. Get a stun in. Finish off this last guy. Gives me a treasure chest. And at this point, I am gonna grab grab some boxes so that I can get up to this uh, throne. Um, make sure to hug the left. I should have I should have sneaked here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sneak. Um, there's, remember, there's two more boxes over here next to these three groups. So we'll grab these two boxes, three boxes, and um, we'll stack these up here. And uh, then at that point, we're done. So, uh, that is number two. So we're about, what, like 30 minutes in or so. And, um, pretty easily solo, soloable content right here. All right. So finish trial of Harclave, it immediately zones you back out into the den. And at this point we just got to do Flitch's prank, uh, which is pretty easy. It's in the hideout. So if you, even if you look at your, your map here, um, I believe it's on the right side yeah right side okay so uh make a little path real quick uh, but this is pretty this is one of the easier ones i don't even like i may make some mistakes here i can't remember but it's uh pretty simple literally all you have to do is invis uh and use your mario skills and also just use the angles to help you uh kind of get through this part so um, once you uh, come in, go ahead and invis, sneak, whatever. 
and what we're looking for are barrels and we're looking for supply crates um, so the supply crates look kind of like um, uh, they're like rectangle boxes. So like while the the normal square boxes are things you can pick up to move uh, The rectangle boxes are the ones that you actually need to blow up because so you see that rectangle box there on the right um, There also is a rectangle box up here. So you'll see it says a supply crate So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this one because it's gonna require some stacking of boxes um, These are small boxes too um, again if you if you place these like more than twice, like if you place them three times, they'll actually crumble. So you'll, then you'll have to go search for another box. Um, but should be able to do it on the first try. Just kind of make like a little bit, like kind of like looks like a staircase. If you do it in a formation like this, it makes it pretty easy. Um, so you probably could do this with three, um, but maybe four is easier. All right. Um, so we're going to grab a barrel here and we're gonna go up these boxes well almost fell there and right click detonate you'll see the supply crate catches on fire and then we'll get a quest update so we've got to find all the rest of them so you can see there's one here in this group of people or a group of gnolls so we will grab this and put it in the middle for some reason the uh the crates in here do quite a bit of damage um as you can see it just killed those now if you hit a null with um with a barrel explosion it will kick you out of stealth so something to keep in mind make sure there's no roamers around essentially whenever you kill these so for this one, again, I'm going to try to make sure I'm in the middle of the knolls actually here. Um, it's going to kick me out. Uh, it ended up only hitting one there. So it killed one, but it didn't kill the other one. So I'll go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, if I would have angled that barrel a little bit better, it probably would have killed both. Uh, but we didn't. Uh, we're going to grab this for the road, essentially. Um, so again... I don't know why I detonate this so close to the... Okay, it still didn't hit him. Yeah, make sure to hug the left side there. Uh, so you'll see there's these walls in here too that will randomly have crates behind them. So kind of kind of make sure you're checking those as well. I'm pretty sure there's more than 10 crates in the hideout. So um, if you miss one, I don't think it's that big a deal. But... Looks like we got all of them in this room, so let's go ahead and go down this other hallway here. One second, let me make sure there's one down around this corner. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, so we're gonna head back down the hallway, and uh, oh, I wanted to check this area too. I think this is a dead end though. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna go down this way. Let's check to see if there's any in here. Um, I believe if you go this way, there's some. Now I did kind of a little bit of a Mario jump there. You can move those barrel or uh, move those boxes to make it easier. Yeah, here's one. You'll notice that all all the stuff down here is um, is uh, heroic, so it's gonna hit a little bit harder. Um, but you need to be careful. However, I do think there, if you use angles and you kind of position these far enough away. Um, oh, okay. Well. I messed up the angle big time there. Um, yeah, that was a weird line of sight thing, I guess. So I'm gonna try to put it like closer to the crate here, make sure. All right, we're good. And it was far enough away from them that it's not gonna kill him. So I'm gonna kind of try to do a similar thing here and put it far enough away from, from the mobs that it doesn't do damage to them, but it's close enough that it's gonna hit the supply crate. So then I won't have to fight these guys either. Let's see if this works. All right, yeah, so it hit it. Something to keep in mind, but again, it's not gonna put you in combat. It's not gonna do anything to you if you're able to do this on um, uh, while stealth. 
This one, remember, you can drag things above, so you don't have to actually build anything to get up to there. You can kind of just put it on top of the supplies and, and, and go away. So I think I'm gonna grab this, because um, there is this wall here. I believe that there's some through this wall. I'm gonna put this far the, as far away from the mobs as possible to make sure I'm not hitting them, but I can still blow up the uh, blow up the wall. So there's a supply crate here. Now if I wouldn't have messed up beforehand and um, had the weird line of sight issue with the other barrel, I wouldn't have to come back and get one of these, but there are some extra barrels just in case you mess up. So I went back and grabbed this one. This will get us at 8 out of 10, and then we just got two more. So no big deal at all. Alright, let's actually find a spot where this will... I'm afraid that this one's not going to... Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, okay, well. Does some damage to you, so be <laughs> be careful there. Um, if you got hit by a couple of those, you'd probably be dead. Uh, so we're, we're searching for our last two barrels. There's a wall here to break. Um, and then there's more tunnels, and then there's more stuff down here. Um... I think this room has two. It definitely has, there's one here, and maybe there's one down here too. You can say the you can see the deeper I go in, like the the higher level these things get. Um, I'm definitely skipping some, but there's a supply, supply crate up there, which that should be an easy one to get. I just need a barrel. All right, here's a barrel. Um. So I don't think I have enough vertical height here, but I think if I jump on these boxes, I will. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right click detonate. I may actually hit these knolls here. I hope not. Oh, I did. Okay. Um, well, that's fun. Uh, I'm probably just going to die here. These are all heroic, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not able to solo this many. All right, well, we died. No big deal. You respawn in here. We've only been in here for almost 10 minutes and we literally are one away from finishing. Um, so altogether, if we really think about how much time we've been doing this from start to finish, we're still under an hour, maybe like 40 minutes at this point. Um, and that's with like running and everything. So uh, you can jump from this all the way over here, but to make it easier, like I was talking about earlier, you can actually move these boxes. That just makes it easy to jump on. I'll go ahead and grab this. Then the first one we come on, uh, or come upon, whenever we go around this corner, uh, kind of back where we were, I'll uh, just use it. Try not to hit the any of the knolls near it. Uh, but as you can see, Invis is your friend when it comes to this type, this content. This and honestly, the the Bloodline Chronicles content as well. Probably won't do a video on that because Bloodline Chronicle is a total pain. Um, so I'm going to blow these up. It's going to kick me into combat, but I hit all three of them with it. As you can see, right when I finished that third quest, um, it immediately gave me this glowing azure star or glow glowing azure shard, which is actually the thing that lets you teleport back to... Um, back to the uh the den so i'm gonna go ahead and accept that as you can see now it's in my bags uh, and you can see the quest uh, also has updated now it says i need to find out what's happening to the split paw nulls um so now that we've gained the trust we need we need to do that part um but that part is going to get us into the x2 and um eventually the x4 so if you're in a raiding guild of course make sure once you get to this point you can you get with your your guild and make sure you finish that x2 to get access to the x4 then you can do the x4 on easy mode and hard mode um to get gear from that so all together um once once you've kind of gotten this uh, uh i guess favor with the gnolls uh you can buy you know different things uh, you can also buy like a level 20 spell uh, I think for scouts, it's like a snare <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or a root actually. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, might as well buy it, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, every archetype has a different spell that they can buy. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and buy it. Uh, this guy also lets you repair, which is pretty sweet. 
Um, but yeah, at this point, you have access to the split pod den, and you can teleport to it very quickly. Which some of the hunters' quests require you to get back here. Um, so, um, yeah, this is this is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this guide has helped you out. Um, I know it's a longer video, but I really kind of just wanted to walk through it from start to finish and show you how easy it is to actually get, uh, as long as you kind of know the way and, um, and, uh, you know, just how to do the quests and things like that. If you did like this video, please like, um, uh, please leave a like on it, leave a comment if you have any questions or if it helped you out. And, um, if you really want to support the channel, make sure you su hit the sub button as well as the notification bell for, um, updates when new content is available. I have a lot of stuff planned for the upcoming days um, before the DOF launch in a little over a month. Uh, so I really am going to, I'm actually probably gonna be making some characters on some of the other TLEs uh, just to show everyone um, new skills that you'll be getting on every class. Um, talk a little bit about the new skills uh, and things like that and kind of get hyped up for DOF in a little over a month. But thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Varsoon and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.